Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf. And it's a pretty miserable day. It's quite cloudy. It looks looking pretty dark actually, but we are late in the evening, so that's okay, I guess. Um, we're going to go ahead and go and talk to Tom Nook because we want to basically see where we are with our debt. And um, we want to start maybe designing the exterior of our house a bit more. But also, I'm pretty sure we're no longer getting our bells um, from selling the town right at the start. So we're out here on our own now, earning our own bells. No more 70,000 bells a day. Um, but if we keep digging up fossils and finding money rocks and fishing, we should be fine. But we do need to pay off more of our debts now. That's kind of the next goal. And also, we need to lay some more paths because I don't like things unfinished. And I feel like... We've got two pathways kind of open here, ready to connect, so we probably need to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and have a bit of a search around to see if we can find any fossils. Uh, we go oh, what's that? Oh, it's a butterfly. It looked like a. It looked like it was shining. Oh, no one's at the plaza. Do we have a camper at least? No. Okay. Oh, there's a piece of dead bamboo. There we go. Um, we have to be careful here because this bamboo might start spreading into this area. But we should have someone new moving in soon. So hopefully hopefully they move in into the same location. Um, okay, so let's see how much money we've got. We've got a hundred, well, oh, just over a hundred thousand um, bells. I emptied the ATM. That's all the bells we owe. We're not getting any more from Tom Nook. Um, so we should be able to pay off that public works project and maybe start a next. But we do want to start earning more. Um, we've got two red pansies that we can just quickly place here. There we go. Perfect. Random yellow one. Don't quite know if we're just going to keep filling this area with flowers. Maybe we will. Um, let's have a wander around here, see who's around, and see if we can find any more fossils. Oh, there's a fossil. Just before we go and see Tom Nook, because we'll already be on Main Street by that point, so we might as well find all the fossils. That's two fossils already. Um, we don't mind stepping on the flowers that we're eventually going to move. Hey, Jay. Hey, uh, hey, Maury. Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions. Really? You train in the dark, cloudy days? What do you need? I want to chat. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, apparently Sahara is in town. She comes from far away to bring us carpets and wallpapers to us. And she probably has a lot of stamina to travel all over like that. Man, that's a lot of strength hiding behind those long eyelashes. You're not wrong. So where's Sahara then? Maybe we'll find Sahara on our travels to search for fossils. I'm just really hoping our villager doesn't move in <laughs> on all of our fruit trees because that would be quite annoying. In fact, we should probably harvest these and keep some as a backup just in case they do. Here's another fossil. Look, I dug up a fossil. Wait, has Epona got a flea? There's also a bug here. We need to make sure. We... Oh, it got away. I was trying to get your flea opponent. Sorry. You're looking so you today, Maury. Yeah, it's the pirate hat. Ta da I caught a flea. Oh, no. Now I'm itchy. Eager flea on me? No way. That did not just happen. I tell you the relief you caught that uh, pest before anyone else saw it. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. <laughs> opponent equips herself with a net just in case another one jumps on her, I think. Um, start moving some of these flowers. Can't remember where I planted these ones. Possibly... Nope. Okay, we'll just have to... Actually, I put some over here, didn't I? I remember... Oh, there you are, Sahara. Do you want to flee? How do you do? 
I am called Sahara, for that is my name. I come from a faraway land. I have many wallpapers for papering of walls and many carpets for the petting of cars. For 3,000 bells, deal? A uh, deal. We always like the gamble of trying to get a rare Sahara garment. Let's go, follow me. Mine for the baby trees. Although we want, I think we want to move these trees actually because I'd rather have them there, but we can keep them for now. Oh, I love the trees are all growing. They look really good. Okay, follow me. Sorry, getting distracted again. Follow me over this bridge. Our house is right here. And mine that for my black rose. It took forever to grow that. <laughs> actually, it was just pure luck, but still, stay away from it. Come in, come in. This is my messy, uh, messy house that we will dedicate an episode in the not too far future to cleaning this room up, I think, and making it look better. Ah, this is your palace. Yes. Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing. Yes, yes. Now I will accept the payment of the money. For 3,000 bells, thank you. Yes, okay. Okay, there we go. Enjoy my 3,000 bells. Don't spend it all at once. Now my work begins. You will wait outside. Yes? Just a bit, please. Thank you. Yes. And we're just waiting. I mean, Sahara's pretty impressive. She gets all the furniture up, lays a new carpet, and puts it all back where she found it. Uh, it is done. Done like the past. Tomorrow is here. The future needs not this, so you must take it. Yes, we'll have our shop floor back, please. Thank you. Inspiration. It burns the hooves like desert, sta uh, desert sand. Embrace it. Oh, we got a de didn't we get the desert one last time? Let's have a let's have a peek. Oh, what is this? Like a wait a minute. It's like a racetrack. And we got what is this? Like an exquisite wall or something. Okay, so we got the arched windows. We got that last time. And the, oh, the sporty floor. Okay, sporty floor. Let's just chuck these in the drawer somewhere. We really need to sort these out. I mean, any kind of organization has long gone <laughs> uh, from these drawers. The storage is a mess. Okay, oh, hey, mannequin. Should we change? No. We like our look at the moment, although maybe we could change up our um, accessory at some point. We Maybe the, the lemons are getting a bit old, I feel. Okay, uh, right. Let's go and search kind of the north part of town for the last fossil. There's one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> one more fossil to get. And then we can go and see Tom Nook. See, uh, remind ourselves how much debt we owe. Oh, it's a gyroid. And then see if we can um, kind of... Expand our house. I want to get like the castle exterior or something. Maybe the Zen one. Oh, wow, we've got two here. Oh, it's a gyroid. Look, I dug up a wee dingloid. There we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look, I dug up a lullabaloid. We feel, just filled our pockets with gyroids. Okay. Maybe it's the. Oh! Should we catch the grasshopper? No! <laughs> the grasshopper just didn't want to be caught. Okay, let's see up this side, maybe. Oh, there's a train. Nope. Where's the fourth fossil? Why is the fourth fossil always so hard to find? I'm pretty sure we've only caught three. It's definitely not in this area. Oh, it might be amongst the flowers of the campsite. It's probably it could go hiding somewhere in here, maybe. Um, I just tried to move the camera up like in New Horizons, and it didn't work. And instead, I put my net away. It could also be behind these trees. Oh no, that's a good way of checking. Okay, we'll have one more look down by Stonehenge. It must be here. Oh. Must be here somewhere. This we did we definitely need to do some work down here. This end of town is looking very, very bare. 
very empty. Oh, there it is. Oops. Whew, for a second I thought, oh, what if this is a gyroide? <laughs> oh, we haven't got any pocket space. Uh, what we could do is sell our gyroids at retail, but only if it's like a special item that we could get bonuses on. Otherwise, we might as well keep them. Um, okay. Nope, I just did it again. My memory's so short. Okay, let's go and see Tom Nook. Then we can appraise these fossils. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we can pay off the public works project as well. Uh, we'll see Tom Nook first, I think. I'm pretty sure we owe, like, half a million bells still, so we are way off. Oh my goodness, it's Maury! So good to see you! Hmm, your audition is finished! Oh, we haven't even started our debt yet. Oh, Maury, my friend, your home is much more homey now. Yes, yes. So it's time for business numbers. Yes, yes, the trifling cost of your... Whoa! Addition comes to 598,000 bells. Okay, so we owe a little more than uh, half a million bells. Pocket change, really? Really? <laughs> no, no, I can't accept your money here. Please make your payments at the uh, post office bell point. Hmm. Uh, much thanks in advance. Okay, so I don't know whether to kind of change up our house like this, or if we can go straight to this. Oh, we don't want this one. Um, or maybe we do. Let's let's see how far we could get through uh, to see if we're able to use these yet. The modern house is a sample used for exterior renovations. If you make the order, we can then renovate your house, just like the model shows. Yes. By the way, things like roof, uh, the color of your home, home's roof or siding will not be changed in the renovation. Okay. Uh, that sort of thing requires more work, and we're not a charity. Whoa! The cost is 398,000 bells. Would you per chance be interested? Wait, we have to have the money on us here and now. What? Can't we have a second debt? No thanks. Okay, at least we have an idea of how much it's going to cost now. So we need to get another couple hundred thousand bells. Well, actually 400,000 bells because we're going to spend this in a minute on a public works project. <laughs> um, so when the castle one or maybe another one comes up that we like, that we can, uh, we can buy it. Okay, well, uh, Tom Nook, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And I'm going to leave here without giving you a single bell. Bye. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the museum and see if we can complete our fossil set. Still don't know what's up with Gracie's sale. That that whole thing is just confusing me. Hello, blathers. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Moriland Museum. Hmm, who? How might I be of service? We've got some fossils. I think we found all of today's fossils. And all of yesterday's by the looks of it. I'm so glad we can do multiple fossils at the same time. Oh, ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Well, well, all of these are simply quite splendid. In fact, our museum already has these fossils on display. If only I had the funds, I'd buy them for my own personal collection. I suppose some dreams aren't meant to come true every day. For now, I'll give these back to you. Oh, we're never going to get the last fossils. Um, no, thank you. I think we've already donated a flea, so. Let's see what we got. Amber. Stego torso. I thought we needed the stego torso. Dinosaur track. Wait, what's this? A skull and a... Oh, two skulls. I thought we could get a... Lots of three dinosaur tracks. Are you serious? I thought we had enough there to make a model with Cyrus, but we don't. I'm just wondering whether we should keep these fossils. Hmm. Maybe we'll keep the. Maybe we'll keep one of them. Let's keep the. Let's keep the Stego torso. Um. Actually, let's. There we go. Let's let's put these into storage upstairs. And we can sell the duplicates. Ooh, wait, have we got the silver shovel already? 
I think we have. Okay, so we're going to have to wake Celeste to open up the next exhibit. We could just put a load of fossils in there for now. Uh, but eventually, we're going to turn them into, like, event rooms and that. Um, so, like, one Halloween room, one Easter room, things like that. I do beg your pardon. I was just resting my eyes. So, um, welcome to Moriland's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. Would you like to talk about the personal exhibit spaces? I would like more space, please. Right now, exhibit room four is available for rentals. The fee to rent... Uh, personal exhibit space is 10,000 but the villagers must be so savage i must be like that mayor rents all those rooms and we don't get a chance to all right i've received 10,000 bells from you well then let me open the door to the exhibit for you thank you uh, thank you for waiting feel free to use it as you please oh i will okay nice big clean room so i think we're just gonna drop Oh, we can't drop more than one thing. <laughs> um, see, okay, so this is a three-parter, isn't it? Definitely. Wow, we're not going to have even enough space, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure... Nope, they don't go together. <laughs> I could have sworn we had... Oh, it's two of those skulls we had. So we can get rid of the duplicates. And two dinosaur tracks. There we go. We might as well keep the little fossils up here. We're going to try and get the stego. And then we might as well just, until we get them, we might as well just put them here. We can always organize them later. Uh, we're going to have to try and remember which ones we've got. The rest were duplicates, weren't they? We can sell that, sell those maybe. Try and get some more bells and powerful public works projects. Sneaking out, don't want to wake Celeste, don't mind me. Okay, oh, Blathers is back asleep as well. <laughs> they really aren't day owls, are they? We're literally like an hour away from them waking up. <laughs> okay, so we, now we've got some space, maybe we could head to the, head to the shop, I think. Um, just because we always need a chance to buy some cedar trees, basically. Cube, how are you? Hey, Maury, funny running into you here, dude. Uh, what can I do for you? Want to chat? Want to buy me something? <laughs> We're poor, we need some money. Uh, there's so much stuff here I want to buy. I'd like to just buy the entire store, to be honest. Me too. No. Okay, well, we can take an ordinary sapling. I wish Leaf had both saplings. I wonder if there's a limit on how many bushes we can plant um, in the entire town, because we do plant a lot. Uh, yep, that's the thing, that's all we need from here. We're going to go off and pay our public works projects. Thank you for visiting. Okay, we're going to head straight to town. We may as well pay off this street lamp. It is very dark here, isn't it? So maybe we definitely, I think we made the right choice by putting a street lamp in. Good afternoon. Hey, contribute to the campaign to fund a street lamp. Our target fund is 39,800 bells. We've collected 528 bells so far. Oh, the villagers are on it. It's only been a day, not even a day. Okay, we're going to do the whole lot. Thanks to you, the fundraising target of 39,800 bells has been reached. Please look forward to the completed project. Awesome. The project's donation goal has been met. So, I think we're going to look at trying to get a bridge down here. Um, but I'm just thinking, I don't know if it's going to be too close to this flower bed because it would be a good one to have here if not maybe we could do it here actually 
That would be quite good. Either on the side, or at the very least, straight across here, I think would work better, actually. Um, would give us more space, but it would be good if we could have it here, but I think, I think, looking at it now, I think maybe come straight down. Uh, right, let's go and lay some more paths. Um, laying paths can be a little bit tedious, so I've decided from now on to do any path laying towards the end of the video, just for, in case no one really wants to watch. Um, just because laying paths can be a bit boring. But the aim is to bring the path down from here. All the way down to those trees there. Um, okay. So I missed a tile. I needed to be one more tile over. But that's okay. We can fill it in. Hopefully not get disturbed. There we go. Um, it's going to be summer in like a week as well. So when summer hits, we're going to try and get a new path. That will be a goal. Uh, so if anyone has any ideas or paths they like, don't forget to put them in the comments. We'll review them all and, and pick one that looks the most summery, I guess. and get it right this time. So we're going to drop this side first. Three of those. And then two of these. Perfect. And we're going to try and bring it across the front here. I think. If there's enough space, that is. I don't know if you're allowed this close to Stonehenge in real life. But that's okay. Maybe eventually we could move it back a tile. It's, I wish we'd have thought things through a bit more, but you just don't know how things are going to go. Um, I mean, we could bring the... Mm, we could bring the path down a tile. Because we're going to have to bring it across past this tree. Anyway, I think we're going to bring the path down a tile. That way we can put some flowers around the Stonehenge as well. It's going to be easier to move this path than it is move the Stonehenge. <laughs> so let's try that again, shall we? That's better. Always looks a bit strange on the cliffs, but... Just because the cliffs aren't, like, in line with the path. But that's okay, we can work with it. It's quite good to be able to do, well, you can do eight tiles at once, but for a path, it's good that we can do like six tiles. Um, okay, so this one's going to be, yeah, this is going to still be that, isn't it? The next one's going to be no border, then it's going to be a border. That one, then we're going to have a corner. There we go. We are a master path layer now. <laughs> there we go. Nearly finished this bit as well. And so we positioned the tree wrong because we've moved the path down an extra tile. Um, just because of Stonehenge. Well, that's a, a Stonehenge, sorry. Stonehenge. Um, but that's okay. We can just we can just live with that. And if we if really needs to be, we can always cut the tree down. Okay, I don't think we can really have kind of curvy or diagonal paths in New Leaf. I'm not sh I'm not sure if there's a way to have diagonal paths, but you'd need a second character to have a bunch of um, uh, like available tiles anyway. There we go. So, okay, so that's brought the path right down from these trees down. So we can go all the way up to the roost from here, all the way along here. And eventually we're gonna have to make a turning 
to bring it to, well that's quite long actually so maybe we'll leave the rest of it for another episode because um, that's quite a good place to finish it there i think we're going to literally turn it probably here bring it past this tree and join it up but we can figure that out later at the moment we need to plant our little bushes and our other tree so maybe we could go ahead and plant them around where we planted the other ones over here makes sense to put the tree opposite this one there we go and we might as well just <laughs> just for ease it's gonna happen eventually anyway we might as well put the other bushes here what would be really cool is if we super planned it out and had all different kinds of bushes in different areas of the island but that's just that's just too much planning <laughs> That's something we can easily do in New Horizons because you can like dig dig up the bushes and move them. But that's okay. We can live with this. That looks pretty cool actually. And it's finally kind of developing the lower part of the island. So I think we're happy with that. So yeah, this is probably a good place to wrap it up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, yep, we'll continue the path another day. There's too much probably to do now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to let me know any ideas you have. Any features you'd like to see, any public works projects we want to put anywhere. I uh, really want to know your thoughts on this. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want any other kind of villagers coming to the campsite and things like that. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And thank you, of course, to your channel members. Really appreciate you. You're awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>